Okay, so for this, you need two different parts. You need your inductive connectivity sensor, the shaft version, the ISC 40G or S-GS, and then you need your sanitary fitting, whether it be the 2-inch or 3-inch tie clamp or the Teutonhagen fitting. They all have the same basic installation steps. So please note for our demo, we've actually cut the cable off the back of our sensor for easy installation. <clears throat> First, what you need to do is take off the plastic nut from the sensor. Then, on your tri-clamp fitting or your Tittenhagen fitting, there's four basic pieces to it. There's the top piece. Then yours is your process connection piece. And then you have an O-ring and a ceiling ring. So first, your process connection piece goes on your sensor. Then the O-ring. Then the ceiling ring. And they basically just set right up in there, such as that. Now you take your base top piece of it, and this is the part people have the most problems with because there's two steps to actually threading it in. The first step, you need to thread the back end of it in. And you know you've done it correctly because there should still be a gap between the top piece and the bottom piece when you do it. Then you thread the last locking nut down. Make sure they're tight. Then the last step is you thread the plastic nut back onto your sensor, and now your sensor is ready for installation into your process.